Hey guys, today is Vlogtober number five. Today is the 5th of October. I'm doing good. <laughs> five days October, five vlogs so far. I'm going to sit down on the couch. I'm about to film a No Catch Name episode. It's been a couple weeks since I did one, but it's because last week I really didn't have anything to share. And it's like next week I probably won't either. Maybe. I don't know. Because this is the last week leading up to my craft fair. It's a week from today. So like next Saturday, right now, I'll be at the craft fair. Because it runs from 10 to 5, I think. Or 4. I can't remember. But um, I'll be there all day because I got to go to set up. And I'll probably just hang out there um, and crochet <laughs> or something. While waiting for the actual craft fair to start. Because I don't want to set up and leave my stuff there. I don't I don't trust people that much. But um, anyways. I got a huge mail haul <laughs> today. A gift from a viewer. Her name is Teresa. I'll say that much. Um, but I wasn't expecting it. Uh, I knew I was getting a package. Because I have informed delivery. And um, well it was two. And when it came. It came. Oh my gosh. I had to make two trips to my car. Because one of them. I couldn't care both of them at the same time, and I will show you why in just a second. Those are the boxes that came. And this is what was in the boxes. A whole bunch of yarn. <laughs> and it is a lot. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it all. Most of it's going to go back into the box until I can figure out where to put it all. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about all of it. There's so much yarn. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do with it all. <laughs> that is so much yarn. <laughs> I'm super appreciative of it because um, she told me I could do what I wanted with it. So I'll probably use a lot of it, especially the Red Heart and stuff. And some of, this, some of it's yarn I've never had before, so that'll be fun. And I might actually use some of it for a giveaway. Because I'm getting close to 5,000 subscribers. Um, let's see here. I got 4,800 and something right now. So I'd like to have a big giveaway for 5,000 subscribers. And my 100th episode of No Catch Name will be sometime this year. Uh, it was going to be the week of Thanksgiving, but I skipped a couple weeks. So it's going to be in December now. Or January. <laughs> but I'd like to have a giveaway for that too. Because it's, you know, 100 episodes. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so I'm going to hop off here and go collect everything for the No Catch Name episode. And film it and get it up. And then I'll vlog some more later. Um... I'll probably, after I film No Catch Your Name and get it edited and uploading, I will probably sit at my table after I put all that yarn somewhere and uh, work on some more material. I got, yesterday I cut out a whole bunch of bags, so today I need to cut the liners and the interfacing for the Notion pouches. And then I will probably start sewing maybe tomorrow, but probably Monday because tomorrow is Devin's only day off. So we'll be spending the day together, the three of us. But, um, speaking of tomorrow, we were going to go to Nashville to see the jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I think it's called The Glow. But it's supposed to thunderstorm in Nashville tomorrow evening into the night. So, um, it's like a 86% chance of rain. <laughs> so, me and Devin just decided not to go to that. We might go to the pumpkin patch tomorrow, depending on our weather. I don't know if it's supposed to rain here or not. I have to wait and see. I don't know. We may just have to put it off till a little later in October if Devin can get off work. I'm just worried that he may, may not get another weekend off because they're supposed to be starting seven days. Uh, it's supposed to be this coming week, so I don't know. Worst case scenario, we won't get to go to the pumpkin patch this year. We'll just have to go get Walmart pumpkins, but um, I don't think Jesse will mind. We'll still let him pick out one and we can paint them or carve them or whatever. So, it'll be fine either way. It's just, I'm bummed out because I've been wanting to go see the jack-o'-lanterns for the last few years. And we were finally going to go. And it's supposed to rain. Go figure. And it's outdoors. So, uh, we couldn't, you know. I don't want to risk us getting, you know, sick or uh, struck by lightning or something over jack-o'-lanterns. But maybe if he can get another uh, Saturday or Sunday off between now and November, we can maybe go. But I don't know. We'll just have to see. Okay, I'm working on my setup again. You want to sign out? Ugh, I have a hard time <laughs> because I have some more stuff over there. This is all the stuff that I'm gonna put in a box until, and then as stuff gets bought, I will put out the um, duplicates. <laughs> I've got a bunch of Harry Potter characters right here. 
the bunny is going to be donated for the uh, auction. I'm going to I'm gonna hang the jellyfish up and the blankets up. And I got those tiny things. Oh, I'm having a hard time. I'm, I'm thinking about taking this, but uh, and I'll, I would drape stuff over that to um, make it look prettier. But I don't know how to set it up. I looked at pictures from last year at other people's booths, and a lot of people did have other things setting out like this. I don't think I can get both my tables because my tables are super big. They're the bigger tables, aren't like the standard size. And they will fit in an 8x10 space, but there won't be any room for people to like walk to look at stuff or any room for me to sit. So I think I'm just going to go with one table and the rolly thing. And I just got to figure out how to set the rolly thing up to put some more product on it and the blankets. It's a lot of work. I'm going to be so nervous that day. I'm already nervous. Ugh, it's a week away and I'm like already freaking out. I'm so worried no one's going to buy anything. And then what am I supposed to do with all these Amber Grammys? I have nowhere to put them. They've been living in a big bag since I made them. And if I don't sell some of them, i got to figure out what to do with all of them. Ugh. Okay, something like that. i got baby blankets up there. Those will be actually hung. I just kind of set them there for now. And down here, I'm going to put something under the purple thing to hold these standing up. Harry Potter stuff. And then my table. And as stuff sells, I will pull stuff out of a bag and throw it on there. In theory, assuming anything sells. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. And I'm going to have a thing back there to stand that hippo up against. And me and my sister will be sitting behind there. And under the table, I will have uh, our cooler and where I keep my bags and the extra amigurumis. My bags are over here and I got these little amigurumis. Think about making keychains out of those and I'll have to maybe make a dowel or something to hang them up. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. How do people do this so many times a year? If I don't sell all this stuff, I'm probably going to end up donating it to a children's hospital. Hey guys, I don't know how dark it is. Uh, the only lights that's on right now is my Halloween lights and a lamp way over there. But I'm just kind of chilling without any uh, the TV or anything on. I've been working so much this week on the computer for No Catchy Name stuff that I'm just burnt out. My eyes are just super sore. I've been having to wear my glasses way more, which I normally don't have to wear my glasses that much. Um, I started off as like a reading glasses person, and as I'm getting older, you know, I'm having to actually actually wear glasses all the time and um, I think that's one reason I'm maybe sleeping so bad this week is because I've been working so much on the computer and in my brain you know uh, doing patterns and doing stuff for the craft fair and doing stuff for um, the Etsy shop and all that stuff it's just a lot this week I'm tired I definitely put in my uh, 40 plus hours <laughs> this week um, I got laundry going right now I just I got Jesse's blanket in there he got slime on his blanket uh, it's like a putty and I tried washing it the other day and it didn't really come off. So now I'm running it through hot water to see if maybe that'll like melt it off. <laughs> I don't know. I hope I can get it clean because he's been using that blanket since he was born. And it's his blanket, you know. It's He's like Linus. He takes that blanket with him all the time. Uh, he carries around the house with him. He always sleeps with it and all that. And um, he had it in the car and was going to take it to my mom's with him when he went the other day. But I got it out so I could wash it again. So I got it in there right now in hot water. I hope that that helps get it off. Uh, if not, he's just going to have to deal with there being slime on it. Or I could maybe order a, another one off of Amazon and put his up. Because I might keep it forever. <laughs> and maybe try to do a switcheroo. But I don't know if he would notice if it's a new blanket or not. But uh, I got to try. <laughs> I'm not going to do any no catchy name work tomorrow. Except vlogging. And the one exception is cutting some material. I still have a little bit of material I need to cut. And I would like to get that done tomorrow so that I could start sewing Monday. But I'm going to just rest. I'm not going to work on any patterns. If I get any pattern ideas, I will write them down. But I'm not going to like set and design them. If I crochet, it's going to be selfish crochet. I just need to take Sunday off because I worked all week on stuff. And then I even today, I spent most of the day working on filming and editing and finishing up the snail pattern that's out now and I'm just tired <laughs> Devin even told me I need to take a break and uh, it's crazy I, I know I worked more than 40 hours this week on no kitchen name stuff because 
I'm home all day, most days. So I sit and do no, no catch and aim stuff all day long. Um, for sure, Wednesday and, not Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday and Wednesday was all day working on patterns, getting them typed up and remaking them for photos and stuff all day. It was over eight hours for sure. And uh, I got to try to pace myself a little bit more because I don't want to get burnt out on it. I enjoy doing it and I don't want it to get to be hard, you know, like to be a job. <laughs> but um, it is how I help supplement our family and it helps a lot. The Etsy shop is the way, the way I make the most money for uh, selling bags and now patterns. Devin just texts. I got to hop off here in a second. And uh, YouTube is starting to bring in more and more money every month. So uh, it's, it's exciting to see it growing, but it's also, it takes a lot of work. <laughs> I'm definitely not, even though I make a good amount on YouTube and on Etsy, if you divide it up by like hourly pay, I'm still not making <laughs> what I'm putting into it. Um, so I, I got to keep working hard at it though to get it up to the point where I can earn more money uh, for the amount of work that I put into it, if that makes any sense. But I do love every bit of No Catch Your Name. I love the videos. I love being friends with everybody that I meet through the videos. And uh, the Facebook group and now designing patterns is a lot of fun. I love making the bags. And I especially love it when I make bag sets that people really love and they get it and they message me and tell me that they, you know, like they love the character or whatever that they ordered the bag for and all that. It's just, it's great. <laughs> I'm going to hop off here and message Devin real fast. He's on his last break and then I will probably vlog a little bit more because I didn't do anything today, hardly. On Vlogtober, I did film a No Kitchen Name episode, so I guess you could watch that. <laughs> I just got his blanket out of the washer and it is still got slime on it. <laughs> Let me get it and show you what I'm talking about. Those are the spots. They're all over it. I can't get them to come off. It's a Ninja Turtle blanket. It's, um, Lean... Lean Turtle? Yeah. Lean Turtle. He drives me crazy that I can't get that off of there because it's his favorite blanket. It makes me sad. I don't want to use a lot of chemicals on it because I don't want to ruin the blanket and I don't want to uh, hurt Jesse. I'm gonna get me some dinner. I made some taco meat. I think I'm gonna fix mine like nachos <laughs> and Devin can make tacos or whatever when he gets home. And then I'm gonna sit down and relax for a little while, edit this video. This is really short, but um, I don't do awesome things every day. But I did record a No Catch Your Name episode earlier, so if you didn't watch that, you can go check it out. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to try to figure out something to do because I'm so bummed out that we don't get to go to the glow. I wanted to go to that so bad for the last few years. And we were finally going to go and now it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow in Nashville. And I looked and it's like 96 through 100% all the way up through the night. And we thought about going to the pumpkin patch but it may also rain up here too. And I don't want to go and pay to get in and then it rain. I don't know. But the only thing to do around here for families inside is the aquarium but we've been to the aquarium so many times that it's it's getting old and it's just i hate living in the middle of nowhere <laughs>